Sean Sewell with InGearMit.com here. This is the Ortovox Peak 45 liter backpack geared towards backcountry skiing, splitboarding, snowshoeing, and a little bit of climbing as well from their High Alpine series. This backpack has earned my favorite spot as far as uh, splitboarding backpacks for the 21 22 season. So I've seen quite a bit. And in this review, I'm gonna go over the features and functions and reasons why I appreciate this backpack so, so much. 45 liters, which I think is the right amount of volume for a full day of backcountry use uh, with proper first aid kits, repair kits, and backcountry provisions. Uh, with room to spare, honestly. This thing is sizable, but also you can, you can cinch it down and make it a more manageable 30-ish liters if you want to, which is why I like the versatility of a larger backpack. Um, I've gone in other reviews about using smaller backpacks. I'm just not that big of a fan. I always like to uh, over-prepare and underutilize with backcountry travel. So with that in mind, this is a 45 liter backpack with a lot of features. As you can see on the side, I have my classable trekking poles in place. You can definitely carry your skis or your split board. My split board's a 165 wide and it fits in here no problem. In the A-frame manner where you put your heli strap around here or your volley strap, however you want to call it, right there. You can carry a snowboard in a vertical position. You can carry skis in a diagonal position as well. So very versatile in those regards. And I like the cord management system. You see they got these little built-in Velcro loops. So it keeps the cords nice and clean, nothing dangling around, easy to adjust. Uh, there are two of these straps and then two shorter ones in the top pocket when you first get the backpack. These are to adjust to carry for the snowshoes or the, the skis or the snowboard, however you want to carry it. There's a lot of options. There's also these nice Velcro loops. There are uh, multiple places to attach them. This is great for your crampons, snowshoes. In my case, my hard boot bindings, my Phantom M6 is right here. You can put it through right here, right there, right there, right there, and right there. So a lot of versatility of where you want to place things, where you want to carry things. Of course, you could use those heli straps, volley straps, and put in there and tighten things down too. You can never carry enough of those on your person. As you also observe, it has a mesh uh, loop right here to accommodate your helmet on a nice day like today. I like to carry my helmet and goggles in this pocket right here. No precipitation in the forecast. If there was though, I would put it and stow it in the main compartment. It'll easily accommodate that. And that's how I do it if it is gonna snow or hopefully not rain or sleep, but any kind of precipitation, the helmet goes in there. If you don't wanna use that, you can easily stow it away like so. Boom. And now you're touring, and they also get better observation on the loops for the crampons and snowshoes. On the top, you get, of course, a pocket that is fantastic for uh, quick hit things. I got my shades, got the chapstick and sun sunscreen, some snacks, and then on the inside, two clips. Boom, boom. So much more space I could utilize. It's very accommodating. I grab the orange. I grab the orange. I pull, and now we're on the inside of the backpack. The zipper right here, it goes all the way around. I'll show you that in a second. Extra puffy. I could easily put that helmet right there. And then also, that's how you close it up. On the inside, you get one more pocket right here. That's where I keep my headlamp, multi-tool, and stuff like that. I'm gonna close it back up. We'll get back into the extra features that really set this guy apart. All right. Safety. The color is safety blue and orange. I really like this color because it stands out, especially in flat light or low light situations. So my partners can find me and if they're wearing this color, I can find them easier. Um, safety. Speaking of safety, you get one big pull tab. One big, easy to use pull tab to access the safety panel. In, in, or safety pocket, I should say. In that pocket, only thing goes there, shovel blade, shovel handle, um, saw, and probe. That's it. That's all that goes in there. I like that it's just one easy to use zip right there. This pocket right here, nice bright hit, easy to use with gloves. That's where I keep my map and um, my avalanche notebook for observations in the field, which I hope you guys are using. And then this is a really great feature. Really great access. So you had top access I showed you. Then you have full zip all the way up to the top access right there with the first aid kit, snacks, extra water, puffy, uh, additional jacket and goggles, easy to access. If there's any feedback I could offer, it would be if you had a 
third or fourth zipper, it would be nice because then you could create a nice system of um, accessing the, the backpack from different angles. Meaning I could keep a zipper here and zipper here, and I can quickly access that water bottle. Say it had soup in that water bottle as opposed to the water bladder, which is compatible with hydration systems. But it'd be nice to have access right there. So another zipper or two would be sweet, but not necessary. A cool feature that I've not seen in other backpacks as well is they use Swiss wool, meaning wool, right here. So not foam, not a suspension trampoline system, but actually wool in the padding because the back is where I get the sweatiest. This helps wick. Um, this is wool right here. My, my long johns are wool. My socks are wool. I love wool. If you know this channel, that's no secret. Love wool. This has wool right here. Suspension, or the straps have uh, a lot of gel in them. Very comfortable. Low lifter adjustable, of course. The hip belt, same thing. Lots of nice gel, very comfortable. Sets an Iliac Crest just right. One sizable zip pocket right here, so I carry my inclinometer and my little hard-sided brush for transitioning from split board touring to split boarding mode. Uh, that's one of the tricks I learned from Cody Towns. So actually, just carrying a little brush in there, just brushing off the bindings, keeping things clean. No pocket on this side, kind of wish there was, but some people use rope, I know will appreciate that. Oh, speaking of rope, there is an additional strap right here that will keep your rope in place. So. If you're into getting off a of terra firma, have you covered right there. So as you can probably tell, uh, I'm a very big fan of this backpack. It's been my favorite one to use. It's accommodated all my missions this year, and um, I can't recommend it enough. It's fantastic. It is 220 US. I'll put links below where to purchase. This is Sean Sewell with ingamer.com. Got any questions on this or how I'm to test out other parameters of this backpack, let me know in the comments below. Till next time, take care.